my room in the lodge so Andresia had a place to call her own. Everyone needs space to let their thoughts run solo. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Was doing that... Keep coming back to one thing. Both of these Starborn, they're people you know. Only they're not the people you know. Say and do things the folks you know would never. Doesn't bode well for anyone stepping into the Unity. Or through it, or however it works. You consider what it might do to you? Or end up trapped in whatever the Starborn call their life's way. Whatever their differences, they both follow Obsession's guidance. Got one. I'd go into the astronomical charting data with you, but clear as day just to point you right to it. Pretty, pretty much same. Same plan planets have a interesting spots. Let us see what wonders of life this planet hosts. Temple Ayota. Okay, same ritual. Once again. Cognition. What's the precognition? how that precognition is actually working. You need something, dearest? Ah, I can see. to hear me say that you make me deliriously happy because you do then I shall be sure and tell you more often darling okay that's pretty interesting so we can we can go and gather more powers Oh, 
or we can go to the end, end battle. I wonder how how long this this is going to take, but. Still charting the way. How daring voyage of the oceans of space brings us here. Level 60. Hostile activity, okay. Now we can go jump to the. We'd love to talk. I'm making another run out of New Atlantis, taking universals out in the stars. To get closer to God and to appreciate the galaxy and all its. Space travel is dangerous, but fortunately, most ships don't engage us. Whether it's respect for our religious beliefs, or the fact that we carry only passengers, I don't know. Have you ever felt something spiritual while traveling the stars? I've jumped dozens of times, and I still don't know I've had the revelation that Keeper Aquilus describes. But I'll keep jumping. I completely agree. It was a pleasure talking with you. We have to be going. But I hope God watches over you out there in the stars. Here's hoping. Even after everything you have done, I'll still kill, give you a chance to surrender peacefully.
Everything checks out. Landing it's like a human base. The military base. The temple is below. The starborn here often lure mercenaries to this point to act as an additional line of defense. I doubt any of the people who built this complex knew what they were guarding, or how quickly they'd be disposed of. It is close to the unity. The artifact and the temple here are one, unlike the others you have found that are separated from each other. You'll feel it as we get further. The power of the artifact seeps through the seams of reality here. The Starborn here are powerful. They will hold nothing back. Even the dead can be made to fight for them. And many of my kind aren't above making use of machines. They had this military base built for a reason. Okay. Sounds fair. Reactive shield, then we could actually use some drugs. Because why why not have it you haven't been using them really? What's the best and, and use points? damage that's two minutes mm, okay infantry alpha two minutes okay so these are something I should use when the when the fighting starts with the real enemies Somebody has been, yeah, having party here. Some enterprising starborn lured human mercenaries here. They built this facility. Another layer to get past before we can reach the temple. Expect more Starborn along the way. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jump out of Starborn. Pain. Oh no. I can race only in animals, so... Crazy stuff. Like in Destiny. Okay, that's. <laughs> well, I'm out of these bullets. See that anomaly? The temple's artifact is reacting to all the fighting. It might be the only way through. We are the start. Something goes wrong in there? We'll come get you. Why would anything go wrong? Shouldn't we... Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. What are you waiting for? Lead <laughs> artifacts in more important than even. Tell Barrett you're doubling your part. How do you know about Barrett? You sneak into my files? We'll be talking about this later, Dusty. Now get in that cavern. Don't look at me. I've done my part. Staple frostbite. a few more to reach the center. All right. Keep yourself steady. So now we are returning to the... Do we 
have a grenade. Basically, this is a bit of Highlander idea that there, there can be only one. Turret mark pool. Ouch. Massive damage. Disable the defenses. Defeat the starborn. I was going to disable the defenses. I can't succeed at that before we are discovered. to user. Okay, now the defense is turned against the Starborn. Okay, more flashbacks. We have visitors! Vladek, you didn't tell me we have visitors. We have visitors. Welcome! What's mine is yours. Well, no, it's still mine, but you get what I mean. I'm impressed. How did you... Did you... You don't deserve the final artifact. Ah. Uh. This life you've led, you're nothing but a thief. An opportunist. A liar. I don't appreciate these little time capsules of yours. Ah, oh, okay. Third person. Uh, that's not fair. I would gladly pay to for that if, if you would have let me. It's more than credits that the unity... So he knows. You. you think you have a right to the infinite? You're nothing! Guards! You're going down. Everyone, move up! Oh, oh, Anomaly. So he was one of the Starborn, which kind of makes sense. Behind him is uh, Anomaly. Collect the salt with, okay. So, how much I'm overweight? 
Let's check. Uh, not much. But do you not, don't, okay, I'm not needing that. That solves this issue. The temple is testing you, always. Everyone wants second chance, but what if the second chance isn't isn't actually better choice, but worse? In the end, the search for the artifacts always ends here. Come on, Rook. Come on. You can make it. Okay, he didn't Barely die. Barely stepped on the juryman's road with us. Can't see another soul off to the void so soon. No. No. I'll pour one out to the blackest sea for you, Rook. <laughs> That's me. What the? Crixus ghost? What kind of cruelty is this? This some starborn trick? Come to mock me before you twist the blade? Let me listen to the artifacts. The point of... They point to a multiverse, a place called Unity. Multiple universes? You're a visitor jumping through the gates of space and time? Not sure if you're just a reflection of a shattered brain, but okay, I get your meaning. Well, ghost from the other side, I'll keep what you said rolling around in my head for a spell. But for now, wouldn't mind if you gave me a bit. I just lost a friend. <laughs> why would you attack Vladimir? I mean, wh why? <laughs> Yeah, that's there. a ruin. The last temple. Once we get inside, be ready. With so much power gathered here, anything can happen. Anything. Spoils of victory. Hopefully, they amount to something. Gaze into the abyss of the infinite. Duplicate. That duplicate is pretty strong. That 
plus Andre, ja. Duplicate. Reasonably, uh, reasonably giving resistance there. Snake or fancy? I don't have anything. Okay, so we now we get to the very temple. Probably last fight. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised you made it this far. It serves me right for not being convincing enough. Persuade. We don't have to fight. And all the artifacts. <laughs> Is this where you give your big speech? <laughs> Let's hear it. Artifacts are about, uh, about more than just you. Their mystery should be free for anyone to discover. Hmm. Maybe there's more we agree on than I thought. You can avoid the last fight by talking. You've done it. The temple's artifact is yours. No, this was your victory. You've proven that you're ready to enter the Unity. I know we aren't from the same universe, but it kind of feels like old times. Here, all the artifacts I've gathered. I would speak to them before you go. Okay. You'll see the glory of our multiverse and your place in it. Then, you'll be asked to make a choice. I'll say no more. No, my place is in this universe now. That's a difficult question. You might as well be asking when is the unity? Why does the unity exist or how does the unity truly work? It's not a fixed place in space-time. You'll be... Well, you'll have more luck understanding when you get there. Place the armillary in your ship, then power up your grav drive. It'll take care of the rest. Okay. <laughs> My favorite. Leaving so soon. Last piece. Last piece was in a temple. You 
Shiva. I'm glad the artifacts have ended up. Our journey seems to be coming to an end. So, the unity awaits. I'm not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know can lead to a better place. Romance. That is not what I meant. I... I would not want to leave it behind so easily either. I just meant that life keeps going. Even when you have lost... everything. Do you think we will see each other after the unity? Will we even recognize each other if we do? Part of me does not want to. I could stay here. With everyone. With you. But I will step into the beyond. Whenever you are ready. I know this is what we have all been working for. It is a drive that needs a gravity drive. Always knew we could pull this off. Yeah. Finally, these new universes won't know what hit them. <laughs> Forget about the Starborn and the Hunter. It's Barrett and company from here on out. I suppose we can do that. Classic. Look, if this is a are we doing this or not talk, then stop right there. We're doing this. The multiverse waits for no one. Yeah, that's why I said it first. See you on the other side. You need something, dearest? I am so grateful for you. Okay, so you, d you do not need to use it. Okay, no one else is here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. To the infinity and beyond. It's a universe. But it's centered around around something. Black hole, perhaps. You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity.
The infinite only exists. Judging it makes no difference. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Fair. I wonder what your decision will be then. Hmm. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. Uh-huh. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day, you might even meet the creators. But not this day. As for the why... So that you could ask that very question. So that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes Starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light and you will become Starborn. Everything will vanish and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You can turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. Your pirates are getting caught. The gate of light will take you to another universe, or simply walk away until the stars fade to return to your ship. Yeah, this is the... The Constellation membership who stays behind will in time publish their data about the discovery of the artifacts, the Starborn, and the Unity. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for hope out there in the stars. The Emissary remains in this universe, but your faith in them inspires them to seek out those they believe are worthy of finding the Unity. Many noble Starborn will be reborn under their guidance. So basically Sarah came back.
the resurrection of the Asili species leads to a massive reduction in terramorph attacks across the settled systems. Yeah, it worked. Yay. At the same time, the need to spread the Asilis far and wide increases cooperation between all the factions. Belief in the UC as the diplomatic leader of the settled systems grows. Your lover, Andresia, eventually chooses to be reborn herself. Your commitment to each other bolsters all relationships in the settled systems. Marriages blossom. More people in House Varun begin to question its orthodoxy and look to the outside world. Your work with UC Sistef against the Crimson Fleet is a triumph of law over greed. The UC establishes greater security throughout the settled systems. Travelers throughout the stars will be safer. It's a pretty, pretty nice end to this all. But what's my choice? Yeah, <laughs> of course we are going to become a star starborn. Although you leave this universe behind a new universe awaits you who will you be in this one what choices will you make Okay, so a few ideas. Um, I usually talked about this, the game when I have played through it. Um, well, writing and design director, you can be many, you can have as many opin opinions about him, him. I like the themes, I like the way the game was presented. The bugs took away the enjoyment, and, and some of the Things like UI were really old-fashioned, very old-fashioned game design. Of course, no commercial game developer wants to step out of the comfort zone. That's not something they do. Also, people have noticed, or people have tell, told them by buying their games that they like old-school game design. So, complaining about it after the release, it's it's slightly. Off, off the target. Yeah, sure. There's lots of uh, things that could have been more fleshed out. Like I was 
missing several discussion options that were coming from my character but still there were good amount of player agency in the decisions and apparently this game is going to continue after the as a new game plus and um, Shattered Sky is coming out as a DLC so what happens when you have uh, those powers and knowledge about what going, what's going to happen? Is the pro plot going to change? Is the whole game going to change? These are questions I have yet answers, but sounds like th this could be a blast. And yeah, this definitely needs more fleshing out, m more new ideas, but the weirdness factor could be played out more. They have a good idea here that they can tell basically any kind of the stories because multiverse and multiverse. Well, Elder Scrolls was a world based on the dream of the Godhead. This is multiverse. So that kind of opens up creativity to any kind of stories. But yeah, I, I like this. Of course, people don't have a right of opinion, but I like this. This was okay. So let's see. I, um, I'll, I'll think about to make videos about uh, Shattered Sky and the new game plus. So that's something that I'm, I'm going to put my mind into. If, if there's something I would like to show. Yeah. But anyway, the playthrough ends here. Uh, Let's see what happens when I skip the end, end text. Okay, that's a ship. One small step. The story is over, but we'll begin in new, this new universe. Countless others. Technotipnarian. Vectera. Beyond the or on the orbit where where it all began. Now I have Starborn spacesuit. Go to the lodge. To see the friends, of course. Attention, unidentified vessel. You have no faction markings or registered manufacturer. Please maintain course while we scan you. Assuming scans even work on whatever it is you're flying. All right, we're done. You're cleared to land at New Atlantis. Slightly different landing animation. Whoa! Now that is a ship! Excuse me, this is a private... Wait. There's something familiar about you. Vasco, identify. Scanning. Cross-referencing known employee records of our affiliated organizations. Please remain still. This appears to be the miner from Argos Extractors. Lost as we were carrying the artifact 
from Vectera. Current whereabouts, previously unknown. I see. Vosco already delivered the artifact. So, why are you showing up now? I repeat my quest. Skip my quest. I'm not who you'd think. I'm Starborn. I know about the artifacts. You're... I see. So some of our theories about the artifacts are correct. You're taking their word for it? What if this person's just delusional? Breathe in too many gases in that mining operation. Why don't we hear him out? We know next to nothing. We have everything to gain if he's telling the truth. All right. Let's hear it. It's going to sound weird, but I've done all of this before. I came here with the artifact and joined the constellation. He's telling the whole so, story. That's what we're looking for. The pieces to an armillary. A path to the center of a multiverse. This is either the truth or the most elaborate practical joke I've ever witnessed. I think we're past the point of doubting, Walter. In any event, we'll be able to see for ourselves. We know where most of the artifacts are now, and presumably how we get them. You could gather up the artifacts easily where I look for the other starborn. I don't know if you should rush off to meet them. Some of those artifacts granted you powers, am I right? We should leverage that. I want you to check with Vladimir on the eye. Cross-reference what you've told us with what he's picking up on the scans. You track down the artifacts the eye finds, while we gather the others. I... I hope that other Sarah of yours knows you're safe. Now let's get those artifacts. Okay, so... This is totally different campaign. New game plus. Okay. Interesting. So this this how this is how the new game plus started. Yeah. Not not bad because uh, what the game developer want is to give player agency and the reason why they should be keep playing because games are not disposable media anymore. They are well, you could say say they are service, but more like developers want want to avoid them being like disposable like a couple hours after that let's throw the ga game away more like a hobby which you can play with and that's a pretty core idea of the business idea of uh, pedestal anyway thanks for watching i'll i'll cut a sm shorter version of this to the youtube and we'll see what happens when, when the dlc come comes out this game is being updated so it's going to like have over over 100 up upgrades and bug fixes. So yeah, well, why not? Let's let's see what the future is holding on us. And we have lots of other games to play. Anyway, this is Pelirami. I'm signing off from the Starfield, and we'll play something else uh, next week. Anyway. Good night.